Hello and welcome to Pollink Composites series of how-to videos. Pollink Composites is dedicated to customer education to help you get the most out of our excellent products. Educational resources available from Pollink Composites include this series of how-to instructional videos and the most invaluable piece of literature for the composites industry, the Pollink Composites Application Guide. The Pollink Composites Application Guide, an indispensable resource on composite technology, is available upon request from your usual Pollink Composites business contact or online at pollink.com. In this video, we will show you how to set up a good spray fan pattern prior to gel coat spray application. Correct gel coat application is critical to produce cosmetically appealing and durable FRP composites. Learning how to set up a good spray fan pattern is the first step towards successful gel coat application. A number of different spray guns are available. The equipment that is best for you depends on gel coat viscosity, types of parts and production volume number of colours being sprayed, physical labour required, safety precautions and air quality regulations. Consult an equipment manufacturer to guide you in your choice. For this video we have used the Magnum Venus Plastec MVP Talon, an airless air assist gel coat spray gun with the Patriot gel coat system. First, let's take a look at the basic anatomy of an airless, air assist external spray gun. This is the gun body. This is the trigger guard and trigger lock that I use to prevent material from being sprayed. Catalyst enters the gun through this line. Catalyst atomizing air comes in here. It's used to break up the catalyst into a fine mist. The material line delivers gel coat to the gun. This is the refinement air, or air assist, which refines the gel coat spray pattern. Refinement air is controlled by this dial. When the gun is triggered, the pump signal sends air to the valve and the pump, opening the pump and allowing it to run. This is the pump air supplied to the gun from the air manifold. The type of fluid tip determines the amount of material output, the shape of the spray fan pattern and the fluid pressure. The fluid tip is selected based on the gel coat viscosity and the volume and the size and type of the part to be sprayed. In general, the lower the material viscosity, the smaller the orifice of the fluid tip. For this demo, we are using a tip with 21,000 inch orifice and 10 inch fan width at 12 inches from the gun. With an airless air assist gun, the gel coat, catalyst and air feed into the gun through separate lines. The gel coat comes out of the centre spray tip, the catalyst comes in at an angle and gets incorporated into the gel coat fan pattern. To ensure operator safety as well as part quality, inspect all equipment before use. If anything is missing or broken, repair or replace it before proceeding. Mix the gel coat for 10 minutes prior to use, but do not overmix. Overmixing breaks down gel coat viscosity, increasing the risk of sagging or porosity. Make sure the material, mould and ambient temperature are 15 degrees Celsius or greater. 20 to 25 Celsius is ideal for gel coat application. Only use materials within their recommended shelf life. Operators should also wear appropriate PPE, including protective clothing, safety glasses, gloves and a respirator. The first step in setting up the fan pattern is to set the catalyst atomizing air pressure. This pressure is usually between 18 and 25 psi or 1 to 2 bar, depending on the spray equipment manufacturer, the length of the hose and the condition of the atomizing air line. When catalyst atomizing air pressure is too low, large catalyst droplets will spit out of the fan pattern this is clearly seen during a test spray parallel to the part. Catalyst droplets are not incorporated into the fan pattern and can fall onto the part, creating defects in the gel coat film, such as blisters and dimples. If you're having trouble seeing the fan pattern under regular lighting conditions, you could always use a strobe light to view it. 
when catalyst atomizing air pressure is too high, you will see a catalyst fog or blowing around. The catalyst will not be incorporated into the fan pattern, which will lead to defects in the gel coat film. Next, we set the air motor pressure. When you're setting up the spray gun, you should always start with the air motor pressure lower than you'd expect to need. The pressure can be gradually increased until a uniformed spray pattern with no fingers or tails and the uniformed particle size of about 1mm is achieved. Most spray equipment runs best between 40 to 60 psi or 3 to 4 bar at the air motor. Use of higher pressures can lead to porosity or excessive overspray. We start with the air motor pressure set at 30 psi or 2 bar with the refinement air turned off. When the pressure is too low, the spray pattern will be circular in the middle and have fingers, horns or tails on the outside of the pattern. Next, we'll raise the air motor pressure to 40 psi or 3 bar. Notice again that the spray pattern is circular in the middle with fingers, horns or tails on the outside of the pattern. Now we can raise the air motor pressure to 50 psi or 3.5 bar. The spray pattern is more oval and uniformed, but we still see noticeable fingers at the outside of the pattern. Now we'll turn the air motor pressure up to 60 psi or 4 bar. We're getting a much more uniformed pattern with only a small amount of fingers on the outside. So now we can use the refinement air to help eliminate the fingers. Typically add about a quarter to half a turn of refinement air. You should lightly feel air in front of the nozzle. It should not be blowing your hand away from the spray tip. In this situation, we found that the ideal setting was 60 psi or 4 bar with a quarter turn of air. We now have a uniformed oval pattern with no fingers. Use this process to determine which setting works best for you. Now that we've optimised the spray fan pattern, we are ready to spray the part. We have already discussed proper techniques in our previous video, how to spray gel coat. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, how to set up a good spray fan pattern. Additional videos available in the Pollink Composites How-To series are available to view by visiting our website, pollink.com.